Do you know what the best day of the week is to breed your rabbits? It's not like some special part of the moon phase or something about barometric pressure or the wind currents that causes them to be more productive or more fertile in the process. That's not it at all. The most productive day to breed your rabbits, well, it kind of coincides with what the most practical day is for the bunnies to be born. Now, most people work the weekdays and they have the weekend off. If that's the case, like me, most likely it is for you, you're going to want to breed your rabbits on a Tuesday, and here's why. Rabbits have a 31-day kindling period, or a 31-day pregnancy. The bunnies are generally born towards the end of day 31. And because of that, well, you can count starting on a Tuesday, you keep counting. 31 days, you're going to hit a Friday. That means that the bunnies are most likely to be born on a Friday night. Friday evening to Friday night is the most likely time the bunnies will be born if you breed them on a Tuesday. And well that means that you have the whole weekend to tune, you have more time. You have more time to notice problems going wrong before they get to be serious. Things like maybe the mama didn't make that great of a nest. Things like maybe one of the bunnies got injured. Sometimes they get stepped on a little bit and they get a scratch and that can be very serious on a newborn bunny. You can notice problems like that very, very soon. You can notice something like if one of the bunnies falls out of the nest. Sometimes they get kicked out or wriggle and fall out of the nest. They don't get back in. The first three days of a bunny's life, they have virtually no hair on their body and they're insanely susceptible to getting cold and dying very, very quickly. If that happens, you got to put them back in the nest. Well, if you have the weekend off and you're spending all weekend around home more or less, you have a lot more time to just keep a close eye, just to, every few hours and even, just keep an eye on the bunnies. So if you breed your bunnies on a Tuesday, Tuesday evening, Tuesday morning is what I prefer, on a Tuesday morning I tend to always have bunnies show up right around Friday evening. If I do it more Tuesday night, they'll tend to show up Friday night or early Saturday morning. And that works because that gives me all day Saturday and Sunday to notice a problem and and fix it or remedy it before something goes bad and the bunnies and their super sensitive stage of the first two three days of their life that they don't make it that really helps a lot of success that, that's that's a huge point of success on breeding your rabbits now if you don't work the weekend if, if you do work the weekends okay plan that out figure out what day of the week what period is your weekend period what's your time off going to be 31 days from this day here. Don't work around your work schedule what you can and plan it out but that 31 day period is key. Almost always it's right at 31 days it can be plus or minus a day but honestly that's a bit rare. Um, it's my professional opinion that a lot of the reports of rabbits carrying their young for up to 38 days is more from either a lack of good record keeping I mean, we all do that. We get behind or a little lazy at times and make an error or forget a date and write down the wrong date later. Or it's for when you do your your uh, pregnancy checks. And one of the pregnancy checks is what you take the mama and you put her with the buck and basically see how they treat each other. Come here, you. Thank you. Now, if the doe is ready to be bred, she'll be very receptive to the buck. If the doe has already been bred, she will have the mother hormone instincts kicking in, the defensive instincts starting to kick in, and she's going to be a bit aggressive and non-receptive to the buck. So, it being Tuesday today, I'm going to go ahead and breed my rabbits, seeing as I have weekends off. Tips for the success of breeding. It's pretty simple. Just take the food and water dish away while you put them together. You want to always put the doe out of her comfort zone. The buck needs to be in somewhat of a comfort zone. We can do this in the doe's cage or we can do this in a if the if excuse me, we can do this in the buck's cage or if the buck's cage is a smaller size cage, we can have a different cage larger elsewhere where we just use that as the breeding cage and we put them into breed. But I keep my Buck's cages is a nice three by three, so it's plenty of room for breeding.
I'm just going to pull out the, food, the water dish and don't use that bottle anymore. And I'm going to open the door that has the feeder on it just so the doe can't get in and play with his food. If she's a little hungry, she'll nibble on the feet instead. And just put them together, calm her down. Then let's see what she does. Oh, she's receptive. You need to get a... Oh, you, she's kind of sitting in the corner, not giving the buck room to mount from behind, so I'm just going to move her out of the corner. Oh, there we go. That's how quick it goes, folks. That's that's why that's why it can be so easy to miss this happening. <laughs> um, I moved her, and four seconds later, they were finished. All right, it, it's that quick. Seriously. Now for the what we call the pregnancy check in five to ten days, put them together again and see how they behave. If the doe is very aggressive towards the buck, then that means she's most likely been bred and her hormones have changed. But here's the thing, when you do put them together again for your pregnancy check, write that date down too, next to the date that they were bred, because if she wasn't actually pregnant the first time, you know, if it comes up to that 31 day mark, no bunnies, 32 days, still no bunnies, then what's going on is most likely she actually wasn't bred the first time and she's probably, she may have been bred the second time around even if you didn't see it. Because you saw how quick it goes. I could look away to sneeze and they're finished and I didn't notice it. So when you put them together in 10 days for the pregnancy check, write that date down too and then look 31 days in advance to that. You know, 10 days after the first date that they were supposed to be born, you are somewhat likely to have a mystery litter of bunnies show up that you weren't expecting. I'm going to get my doe here and put her where she goes now. Come here. Come on. No need to be grumpy. No need to be grumpy. I'll calm you down a bit. She's mad at me. Come on. That's better. That's better. Yeah. There you go. All right. Well, thanks for watching Northern Homestead. Don't forget to click the like button. Uh, go out and fiddle with your rabbits. I hope you guys are successful. I'll catch you later. Bye now.